in talking about these these trends and deficits and debt over the next three decades, in your mind, what what is your your research uh, shown? What are the driving forces behind those? Uh, so there, essentially, there's two main factors behind our widening deficit and then the mounting debt. Um, and so one is net interest costs, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's both as the level of debt or the amount of debt goes up, that means we're, we're paying interest on a, on a larger stock of debt. We also have interest rates rising, right? So interest rates have been um, low over the last several years uh, for a number of reasons. We see those factors reversing. And then as the debt level goes up, well, that also has an impact in driving interest rates higher. And so the debt, the larger debt means that we're more, in some sense, we're more leveraged as a nation. And so a given increase in interest rates has a bigger effect on net, net interest outlays. So that's one, and that, that's the biggest factor. The second is that even though revenues have been strong, and we see them you know, not, not being as strong over the 30 year horizon as they have in the last year or two, um, uh, we still have pretty decent revenues. The challenge is that spending is set to rise, and this is entitlement spending. This is on, um, on Social Security and on the major healthcare programs. Now, of course, that is not the same by far as CBO saying, oh, therefore we need to do something about spending and revenues are fine, right? It's, we are looking right. at the, the balance between the two and not providing a policy rec uh, rec 